Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see how to bring the values or the columns inside the lightning data table using field sets. But before getting started, if you like my videos, please subscribe to this channel. So in this video, if you see, I have this contact name, contact phone number, contact email, which are coming from this columns, right? I have contact name, contact phone number and contact email. I have these four option, uh, these three columns. That's the reason why I'm able to see these tables, right? I'm able to see these columns. What if I don't know which columns I might have? Like tomorrow, I need more two columns or tomorrow, I don't need any column at all or tomorrow, I just want one column or two columns or three columns or it can be some another column. How do I do it? If customers asks you such kind of requirement, how can you do it? Because every time you cannot go to the code and you can make changes, right? You have to give them give them a certain way with the help of which they will be able to configure the changes and automatically things will be visible to them. So that's what we use field set for. What we are going to do is we are going to use the field set that we have in, in on the contact object and using that field set, we will control which columns we need to show on this uh, lightning data table. So first we have to understand that how the columns are visible. But even before getting started with that, first we need to uh, create a field set, but I already have a field set right now available with me. The name is test field set. You can see. I have around first name, last name, I think four or five fields I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these fields uh, inside the lightning data table that I have, right? So if let's say tomorrow, if certain uh, certain person does not want this first name, he can just remove it from here and automatically the field will be also removed from here. The column will be also removed from the lightning data table. So before even getting started with that, what we need to do is we need to query this field set. Okay. First, we need to query the field set inside the controller of your lightning data table. So inside the lightning data table, I'm using this controller named as learning LDT controller, right? lightning data table controller i am using this controller in order to uh, control like in order to keep the apex set controller i am using a learning learn ldt controller so using the same controller what i am going to do is i am going to return the uh, columns as well to do that what i have already created a field set previously i have created a field set i am going to use the same uh, co code for the field set and i am going to write it down over here so just to go through with this field set, I'm going to remove this for now. Okay. For now, I'm going to remove this and object name. I'm going to give as contact and field set name. I'm going to copy paste it from the API name of the field set that we have. So just to give a, a brief context, what's going on over here is that I have a get field set named as method inside this method. I'm trying to get the global describe of the contact object and from that particular global describe that I've returned, uh, returned let whatever I've got, I'm trying to get the particular field set with name as test field sets. Now once I've got it, I am re serializing it and I'm returning it inside this method. Now all I have to do is I have to use it and I have to arrange it in a particular format, right? So what I'm going to do is instead previously in some previous video, I was using this con list to just show the data inside the lightning data table. Instead of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to return this get field set. So this, whenever we are going to uh, uh, reload the component, wire is going to run and wire is going to go and bring the field sets. Now, in order to show that fields on the field set, like to if I want to show the fields inside the columns, first we have to understand in what structure these fields are visible. So I have a curly braces, then label, and then I have to provide the label of the field and next I have to provide the API name of the field. So that's what we need to do. That's how the structure we have to build in order to show the columns inside the lightning data table. So first I'm going to create a variable named let's say, say items. Now once that I've done it using this uh, wired data, uh, which is going to call get data in LDT, which will, which is going to basically bring the field set. I am going to get a field set inside the complete data, right? So this data list, uh, whatever we have, it's not going to have only one field. It's going to have multiple fields, right? This data list is going to have multiple fields from our field sets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use for, for each loop. 
on this data list and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this items variable this dot items equals to and inside this a particular variable I'm trying to go and try to create a structure of the uh, columns right the structure of the columns for such a way right so I'm going to create a structure of the columns inside this item list right I'm going to create the structure of the column name column list from this current item which is going to query all the field sets I can get a particular label like current item dot label is going to return me the label of the field set fields from the field set and to get the API name of the field I'm going to use dot field path so using this both current item basically is nothing but uh, iterating over this data list and this data list is bringing the data from the data uh, which is bringing the data from the wired uh, method right so basically whenever the component will be reloaded get data is going to run which is going to bring the data from the field set and once it is received we are going to get that data inside this data variable I am assigning this data variable to this data list which is nothing but the field set all the fields that are available inside the field sets now as it's not going to be only one field it's going to be multiple field so that's the reason why I'm looping over it and now inside the current item I have each of this field one by one after that what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a column structure so if you see above I'm creating a column structure over here the same way I'm going to create a column structure over here as well now once that is done I was assigning column list to columns over here previously instead of that I'm removing it so that there are no columns right now from this particular variable I'm not using this variable to assign the columns now I'm going to use this dot items to assign the columns so columns list this dot columns list equals to this dot items so let's see whether the field set is visible to us or not or the columns are visible to us as far as the field sets or not okay this dot data list for each is not a function I think so we have not done it properly okay right, let's look into it again this dot data this dot for each this is correct Okay, let's do it other way around. Okay, I think so. What's going to happen is inside this current item. Uh, so what we are doing is whatever current item we are getting, we are assigning the label to it. Okay, and field name to it. So this is for the first field. Let's say uh, which we have is first name, right? This is perfectly assigned the label name of the first name and the field path the api name of the first name is assigned to the, these items the next time again the loop will iterate and then inside this loop again we are going to fetch the last name from the field set so last name field label and last name field path will be assigned but if you see the problem is that the previously the first name okay is gone the first name values are been overridden so in the first iteration first name came right it was assigned perfectly fine to these items but in the second iteration in the second iteration of the full for loop last name is going to come right and which is going to override the value of first name uh, whatever first name values were assigned last name is going to be uh, override the first name values and the third iteration data.com key is going to override the last name values and the active in the fourth iteration active is going to override the data.com key value now the problem is we need to combine these two so to do that i'm going to use a spread operator this dot items we can use the spread operator I think so use spread operator what we can do is so what it is going to do is it's going to keep the value of this item and then it's going to combine the value of the rest of them one by one to each Okay, now let's see. Okay, 
okay 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 so in order to iterate we have to co convert it to json dot parse right so because we have got the data in the form of serialized format we cannot iterate over the serialized format we have to it uh, we have to first convert it into the object format using json dot parse and then we can iterate yeah now as you can see it's coming from the field set first name last name data.com active so if, let's say if i have to remove the description field from the end and if i save it the field will also be gone from the lightning data table see business last field is left uh, the description field is removed so what's actually happening at the back end is all we all know that using this method i'm trying to get the field set now once i've received it i've got the data i've got that particular field set inside this data variable the data that I've received from this apex class is in the form of serialized format. So first, I'm converting it again back to the JSON dot parse. That is nothing but the object format, so that I can loop over it. Now, once I've received it, as it's going to have multiple values, I'm using for each loop to iterate here on each of this field one by one. So I have multiple fields inside available uh, inside available inside my field sets, like first name, last name, date, dot com key, active phone. I have multiple fields. So I have to iterate over each of them one by one. So that's why I'm using the data dot each uh, the data dot the data list dot for each, and then using current item, I'm getting each of this value one by one. So in the first iteration, I'm going to use I'm going to get a uh, first name, right? So what's going to happen is this dot first name. So the label current item dot label that is first name label is going to get assigned to this label value, and then field name is going to assign with the api name of this first name okay now i am storing it inside the this dot item once that is done in second iteration i am going to get last name so this dot item using spread operator i am holding the previous value i am holding the first name value already okay and i am appending the last name label and last name api name inside this dot item i'm not replacing it but i am appending it again in the say next iteration data.com key again i'm appending the data.com key to this dot items so once all my items are appended so i will have first name last name data.com key all the values from the field sets once i have it i am adding it to the column list which is responsible to show the columns on inside on my lightning data table so this is how I am bringing the fields from the field set and showing it on the screen so user can control which which columns he wants to see and which columns he want, don't want to see using the field sets in lightning data table so in the next video we will see how to bring the data and the field set together using the wrapper classes and also the field sets if you found this video helpful please subscribe to this channel